Quick backstory. So we all know that sometimes when you have multiple projects, one has to suffer. And in this case, this one's gonna suffer and sacrifice the shifter for the C10. But this truck shouldn't even have this shifter because it has a factory 4L60 harness and all that still underneath it. But at the time it was either let it sit, let it keep sitting broken or put the turbo 350 in it. So that's what I did. And now that the turbo 350 has gone out uh, and the dually has proven itself to be good for the last 2000 miles, the shifter is coming out of this thing and I'm gonna down it for just a little while because I am going to put a used 4L60 back in it that is known to be good from a friend of mine that's doing an LS swap. I'll definitely be doing a video uh, just for this truck in the future, but I'm just gonna throw this clip into this video because I really feel like it's it's given a piece of itself in hopes that the C10 will be going. So of course it's all my choice. I'm gonna get it back going and get it kind of back OG like it's supposed to be. So. It's all for the better good. Anyways, gonna pull the shifter and the cable out now. Mm. Mm -mm. Now you're hunting for drive shafts. Let's see if we can find one. All right, y'all. Just did some digging and found a drive shaft here in this little pile. That is out of a 05 C71. And crazy enough, it looks like it's got a turbo 400 yoke on it. And the universal seems good. Good enough like for, for now, temporary, whatever. So that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's Maybe it's not the right yoke, but that's our length. Now the, the drive shaft is pretty pitted. It's not like something that's really worth, you know, putting a lot of power on or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna take it up there and see what Danny thinks, see if I can get conversion U-joints for it. And if this one's no good, then I'll try to find another one. Put this in your truck. <laughs>
fresh paint on the S10. So it has been a few days since the drive shaft deal, uh, but I will inform you that the drive shaft U joints that I picked up from Jeremy at Doug's did indeed work. So there it is installed. A little bit you can see of it. And I've got the bed bolted down now. So it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm about to put some fuel in it. I ended up having to put two front calipers on this thing this morning because, well, really just the passenger side was stuck. I wired up the trans brake last night, got it moved outside the shop. So all that stuff works. I still gotta adjust the cable just a little bit, but for the most part, it's all good. I'm actually about to go ahead and take it for a test drive now. Pretty excited. Uh, got the brake vacuum hooked up and got the new calipers on, brakes bled. I got the rears capped off properly and everything looks pretty good. Blake's taking the SD card out. The temporary tuner until Shane gets it. Go through it. Make sure that we have the right map sensor in it. Yeah, that's what I did too. Swap the map sensor. So the map sensor's good now. assistant with the outside video. Yeah, it's not showing a pole on it. I guess it would be the one that has the longest. It should be the one I just opened. So I don't know what all we data logged. See, that's only a couple blips though. Right? Doesn't look like a pole. I don't have one for the, I don't have anything over 1,500 RPMs. Hmm. None of them. Oh, fuck, dude. I started the log and then shut it off at Cody's. Mm, yep. So we're going to need another log. Because, <laughs> look, that's where the AFR does, or the O2 is doing stupid shit. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Because all this is just idle. Right. And those 
blips were probably surging. This is your VE, that's your fuel went up to 400, like the VE table was 400%. That's not right, then we're at 250. And we're still, dude, we're at 130 at idle. So I'll have to back your fuel table way down. We're just dumping too much fuel in it. Would that make sense though? Too much fuel making it do that? Might be the issue about them. I never claimed to know what I was doing. That's over here. We're not even over here yet. And this shit's almost double. Which, I didn't know what to put in your truck. We were just trying to get it right. done, So. Yeah, so I should start off with saying that this is a extreme base to Which I also pulled like 10%. Let's try that. How much did you lower it? 30%. Okay, so it was at... Third. It was at 130, right? And now it's at 90? I lowered it like 12% right there. Subtracted 30, because if you subtract five, that's 20%. So actually, somewhere around 12, 13. There's people on YouTube and think I'm a dumbass. I can cut it out if you want no, me to. No, put it in there. Put this in there too. <laughs> Let them know how fucking retarded I am that I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. But whenever yeah. I figure it out, you <clears> gotta call. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just try that. I mean, I'm at the point where I'm just going to keep shoving shit in these trucks till they run good. As long as we keep them rich, they should bend rods or blow up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's my new water pump I got. This is my new little radiator, little four core. I've got everything for my cooling system on the way. Should actually be here tomorrow. It's Sunday right now. Took the truck out and we thought we were logging it, but I had to shut the truck off because I didn't want it to get hot. And when I did, I forgot to start logging again. So we didn't actually get a log for the pulls we made, which is cool, it's whatever. It just means I gotta do it again, but everything's cleaned out of the bed. It's my freaking stash of junk back there. And the shifter install ended up going good. So that's done. And I've got the, I'll show you. Trans brake there. So the wiring for that was super easy. I was definitely overthinking it. Like brought that to my attention. But uh, yeah, so shifter needs a little bit of adjustment. So I ended up putting a couple of new calipers on the truck because I had a sticky wheel. And then I got my rear brakes capped off temporarily. Yeah, both of the trucks look good. Blake got his hood pins installed. Both of our trucks are doing very similar things. Yeah. That's my plan. But Mike Blake said before he never claimed to know what he was doing. But whatever. Hey, look, dude, we got a freaking startup tune. Uh, and it cranks up every time, like perfectly. So I'm happy with that. But the fact that it did cut off at 3,000 is what Blake's truck was doing. And now his cuts off. Now you're at 4,000 cutting off. So that was the whole, a couple of videos ago with the 24X, 1X cam stuff. So yeah, my new coon tune. But uh, the fact that mine cut out kind of gave us hope on his really that it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, well then I'll just agree with you. So anyways, what? Kind of what I was trying to say was Blake's truck's cutting out. Y'all know that maybe. Now my truck's cutting out the same place as was before. So they're kind of doing the same things. So it kind of just really just lets us know that it's a tuning issue, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. This is both of our first times messing with this stuff. So Blake's definitely on the keys. Um, and I am not at all. So kind of. Not necessarily at the mercy, but we are both testing. Blake's testing vigorously. We've drove this truck 
a lot. So speaking of that, man, the freaking tent is done on this thing now. And it looks good. Got the bottom strip for the haters. If you can if you can grab that dollar bill, you can keep it. The whole deal. But yeah, finishing this video out with uh Blake's fresh paint, my drive shaft and test drive shifter. I've got to put my T4 gaskets in. I still have not done that. I'm going to do a few other things before this little car show deal. I'm going to wrap my exhaust. So that'll be in the next video probably. Be on the lookout for that, but yeah. You got anything you want to say? Alright guys, see you next time.